what is going on everybody? I am Flaming Melon, and today I am here to talk to you about our Lord and Savior, Inaros. Alright, let's hop right into it. Okay, first things first, Inaros. Inaros has no shields, so he cannot take advantage of shield gating. But he makes up, the, he makes up for that with a very large health pool. But that's not all there is to him. It's not just about stacking a bunch of health. You also need a resistance, and that resistance will add to your survivability. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got adaptation, very helpful, because any element that hits you, you will gain resistance to. But I have never seen it stack resistance to um, puncture, so I guess everything has to have a, a handicap. Carnage Carapace. Saxon Carapace, plus armor and health. No downsides to both of these. Gladiator Resolve for even more health. Vitality, Steel Fiber, obviously. And this build is specifically for Arbitration Infestation Survival. Because um, a, lot, a lot of people have a really tough time with that, so... This is what I'm making this video for. So... You'll understand why I'm using Arcane Resistance. Arcane Resistance will provide you with 100% with um, immunity to the Toxin proc. 102 chance to resist a Toxin status effect, so you won't be affected by Toxin. But, you will still take the damage from Toxin, and this is where this comes in. 45% toxin resistance and that'll and with this you'll take less toxin damage and I don't know if this will stack with adaptation I'm not sure I haven't really tested it I just use it and we also have arcane deflection for slash immunity slash proc immunity because infestation enemies also proc Slash. <clears throat> also, we got Hunter Adrenaline over here to. Because why not? Naros doesn't have any shields. Has a lot of health though. Because. But this mod is essential also. Because. And if you don't have this, you can just use Rage for the time being. If you don't have Hunter Adrenaline. Uh, rage. Let's just type it in. Rage. If you don't have Hunter Adrenaline, you can just use Rage. Which is... Which isn't as good, but... Generally, you want to get Hunter Adrenaline. Then the reason you want to have this is because... There are nullifier enemies on arb in Arbitration. Especially on... Ar in, um... Infestation tell sets to begin with. That, um constantly sap your energy, so this will be very helpful to replenish that energy that, that got um, sapped. Handspring, because you'll also be dealing with a lot, with a lot of um, knockdown, so you want that faster knockdown recovery so you'll, take, so you'll get on your feet faster and be able to dish out that damage and survive better and stuff. Physique is also helpful, adds more health, why not? It's an Aros. And you'll, you're gonna have to um, get an aura, get an aura form at a polarized slot, so that you can universally use any um, aura mod you want. But this isn't all there is to it. You also need a good pet, a nice dependable companion, and you, you'll you specifically want the Sasha Kubro, and I'll explain the reason for this in a sec, but first I want to talk about these mods and their importance. Link shields, link armor, link health. You'll need these, because with these mods, 
what your pet will do is copy the is stack the armor, health, and shields of your war of whatever warframe you're using with its base health, shields, and armor. And you put you slap your pet on in arrows. You put your pet on in arrows. You're looking at at least thirteen thousand health and some decent armor. Seventy-six percent resistance. Why not? So whatever um, orphan you use, it will essentially like copy the armor, health, and shields of that Warframe. So, very good to have, very useful. You got Maul for uh, plus 330% melee damage. Nothing to frown at. And this one, very, very, very important. Heals your pet by a percentage of the damage you deal with melee attacks. 36% lifesteal link, plus 36% lifesteal. Now, this will be very essential in keeping your pet alive. We also have Hunter Recovery, which will also allow your pet to keep you alive, and allow your pet to support you. 30% Companion Lifesteal Link. Now what that essentially means is whatever damage your pet does to enemies, that will be converted, that will be, um, converted back to you as health. So essentially your pet will be healing you. And it's even better if you have if you're using a Sahashikubro's ferocity, which allows it to use finisher attacks. Plus 120% finisher damage. I see no downside to that. So whenever your Sahashikubro does any finisher damage, and Inaros's health is really, really low, it will heal him, like, almost instantly. Dig, because, yeah, dig, why not? And we also have Metapet Kit. Fast to heal rate, less, be less bleed out reduction. Now, this isn't really necessary if you're doing arbitration, so you could put anything else here. Okay, now let's jump into the weapons. Me, personally, I like to use the Sindel Prime for this, but you don't really need to. But it doesn't really it doesn't really matter which weapon you use, as long as it's a slash weapon that does heat, corrosion, corrosive gas, or blast damage. Because those are the most effective elements on Infested. Okay, now, I got my Ribbon. Very nice. Plus melee damage, critical chance. Attack speed. Condition overload, because this is mostly an elemental build. Prime Breach for more crowd control. <laughs> Berserk for more attack speed. Weeping Wounds for more um, status chance, because that'll allow you. That'll allow you to stack more elements and give you more damage from Condition Overload. And we got our Virulent Scourge and Shocking Touch for um, for that'll give you Corrosion, Shocking Touch, Electricity and Toxin. Then you got Heat over here from Volcanic Edge, and these two will give you more status chance. And up here we got Temple Royale, which is the, in my opinion, the best heavy blade stance. Now I universally polarize this slot with a stance former, so that I can pretty much like swap out any um <coughs> swap out any stance stance mod I want to use. Ew, rending crane. Temple Royale is my favorite. And you don't even have to use 
Sindo, you can use the Bass Lock or the Nakana, Nakana Prime, Dragon Nakana, any weapon that has slash damage. Okay, over here now, I'm using the Phantasma. But again, you don't have to use this. You can you, you can use any weapon you prefer. You want to use your secondary or your primary to deal with the uh, drones. And right now I'm using the Phantasma. And I got some blasts going on here, I got some radiation, I got some corrosive, anything that can strip armor. If you can uh, get a puncture weapon to use, that's also good. Radiation and corrosive will strip armor. Blast will uh, blast is very effective against machinery, which I think the Arbiter drones are machinery. So there you go. All right, let's see what this boy can do. So notice that I'm using an ability to heal myself that doesn't belong to Inaros. That ability is called Blood Altar, which is one of Garuda's abilities. You can get it by subsuming Garuda to the Hemlith. So yeah, there's all kinds of options, all kinds of cool shit you can do to boost your survivability. It's not really necessary, but I find it helps. It's uh, nice to have just in case your pet dies. And you don't need any augments for it because it's strictly a healing ability.
one clean hour of arbitration. What more do you need? Well, that's all she wrote. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My socials are in the description down below. Make sure to hit those up. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, all the other stuff. Bye.